Hi everyone and welcome back to Carefree Caravanning. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, uh, this week's video we are going to show you um, a, a couple of tips on the camper air awning that we have. Um, now they're sort of tweaks, um, not I suppose modifications really, aren't they? Mm. So we yeah. thought we'd uh, show you those. Really helpful and I must just say a huge thank you to Ray Porter Thank you yeah. so much for sending, emailing us and sending us your photos and your tip and also to Colin Rimmer. Thank yeah. you so much. You so kindly sent us um, yeah. the bits and pieces that we're going to show you. Yeah, thanks That's very much so indeed. so kind of you. Thank thanks you both. Thanks both gentlemen. Really appreciate it. And um, so we're going to just uh, pop out to the awning now and show you what they suggest and um, hopefully be useful to you. Many of you who uh, watch our channel know that we have the Camper Air Awning 390 and we absolutely love it. It's fantastic as we say in so many of our videos. However, there are two niggling, niggling issues, should we say, that um, we just put up with. Um, and as we said in the intro, um, Colin Rimmer very, very kindly sent us a, um, a suggestion on one of the problems. Now, one of the problems is on these three panels here, now if yours has only got two, it may be just two panels, but certainly on these three panels here, that's the three panels nearest the caravan, when it rains, you get pooling of water just before these beams. So you get pooling of water that sort of pulls on each panel on the top. And then when you uh, go into the awning, you just have to push the water up and it rolls down the front. Um, it's a, <laughs> It's not a problem, but it, it's just a bit of a pain. Um, and I've seen on social media, and we've seen some pictures of uh, where they've pulled so much that the people have been out. Uh, and when they've come back, the, the whole awning's actually collapsed because of the weight of the water. So Colin has very kindly, as we said, um, devised an idea which he sent us. Um, it's so simple. The problem is that these three panels, as you can see, they're sort of flapping around a little bit. So when it rains the water is going to just sit on there so what he's done is he's cut us six of these now these are polystyrene they measure let's just get rid of that one they measure 25 millimeters from the depth and they are 150 millimeters square um i say colin's cut these for us and what he said you do is i'll just move up to here on the steps because i'm only a short um is if you put them in here just behind these four beams close that up just pull the beams out slide them in now because they're polystyrene they're not going to scratch the caravan um, just slide them into these beams now what that's doing if you put them into four all four is it's actually going to make these panels taut um, because it's pushing the whole awning forward a bit which then makes these taut and you don't get water pooling so absolutely superb really really simple tip really simple straightforward to use if you're going to do it on ours, we have four. Um, yeah, a fantastic, fantastic tip. So, Colin, thank you very much indeed for that one. Now, Ray Porter has sent us his tip, um, which again, it's not the end of the world, but it's just a niggling issue. And that's these end poles. Um, you can just see on ours, it's actually bending a little bit. Now, if you get severe uh, storms or gales, or um, what can happen is these poles can actually push in. I don't know if you can see it from the cam camera angle. These can actually push in on both sides. Um, they can be done, you can overwrite, you can sort that out by deflating the awning a little bit and then unzipping it and twisting them back. But what uh, Ray has suggested, now I haven't had time to do it, but we probably will, is if you get, in our case, because we've got three front panels, is if you get three um, broomstick handles from say B&Q, um, and then cut them um, to the length of this beam to this beam, three, three times, um, and then just put uh, some feet, some rubber feet on each end of the um, broom handle, so it doesn't fit. And then what will happen is, is you can just pop them in in between two beams and it will just push them and keep them all straight. So um, the idea is in windy conditions, it will give it a lot more rigid, rigid, what's the word? 
Rigidity. Rigidity. <laughs> Rigidity. Um, it'll make it more sturdy. It'll make it more sturdy. So, um, yeah, just pop the poles in between each section and it will literally just keep them straight and it will stop that um, twisting round and um, creating a problem with the awning. So thank you very, very much indeed, Ray, for your tip and hopefully others will um, find that useful as well. Well, I hope you found that useful. Thank you again to Colin and Ray for sending in um, all yeah. those little bits and pieces. Absolutely, thanks very much indeed, Jess. Yeah, I mean, if you've got any other tips that you want to share to give to us for us to share with everybody else please do including you know recommendations of places to visit you know any caravan stories experiences that you've got please please send them to us yeah. um these two from rain colin they will go on our website which yeah. is www.carefreecaravanning.co.uk yeah. and uh both those gentlemen uh they actually emailed those uh tips for us so if you've got any tips that you want us to cover, then just feel free just to drop us an email at info, info at carefreecaravanning.co.uk. Okay. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, th so all these will go on the community page of our website where people have been sending things in. Um, I just want to give a special shout out. Hello to Wendy and Craig oh, in yeah. New Zealand. Hi, Wendy and Craig. Hi, hi guys. Hi. Hope you're well. Um, they sent us um, some photos and shared their caravanning experiences with us. Um, there's some beautiful places that they go yeah. to in New Zealand. Yeah, I think we, we desperately yeah. want to do that. Yeah, so if we ever come to New Zealand, <laughs> we're going to be knocking at your door. We're knocking at your door, Wendy and Craig. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you very, very much indeed for taking time to watch everybody and hope it's found it useful. And on that note, um, please feel free to, uh, if you don't already, please subscribe to our channel. There'll be a little caravan coming up over Michelle's left shoulder. And until the next time, from both Michelle and I, Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.